Hi everyone, welcome to our channel. In today's video, me and Bernadette will be doing our own makeups using the Jaclyn Hill palette. We'll also be answering questions we put on Instagram for people to ask us questions. Just a general chit chat yep. about makeup, etc. So, if you want to see how we do each other's makeup, well, I do mine, and Bernadette does hers for like a night out glam look, then just keep watching. Enjoy! Bye! Bye! Right, excuse our no makeup faces because. We have none on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna start with our faces and answer a few questions through that. Mm -hmm. Just because then that way we can get into detail with the eyes. <laughs> I don't prime. I'm gonna prime my face with the Fenty Beauty Primer. It's really good for oily skin. Well that's the person told me anyway. <laughs> Maybe I'm gonna put this on. I'm gonna check and see if this foundation is the colour I want it to be. So this is someone asked them a day. Her name is at Nadia HU. So it's Nadia with two A's and a H U on Instagram. Yeah. She says, Do you sometimes think that makeup can make the texture in your skin look a lot worse? Um Yeah, I know. For me, I with you. Because everybody knows I have a lot of problems with my skin. I think about a question like that actually answered like that. It's so all around here. If I put like a matte foundation on, it's usually okay. Or if I set it like you said earlier, like you need to set it. Um, but it's really the type of like texture of my skin that I've got. Sometimes I'll have like a lot of spots under the skin, and it's quite yeah. It's really quite irritating. Like like that shows up a lot. I feel like it can show through with um, bronzers that, as well. People that are prone to acne, like I understand that the texture of their skin can come through a lot worse. But I feel like you need to mattify their skin a lot, a lot for that. Mm, I like see the other day as well. Um, I was putting bronzer on, and you see in a minute I love a lot of bronzer. So I was putting like a lot of bronzer on, and um, I was putting it all around like this area, just because like if you make that darker, it's always going to look skinnier, and I hate putting my face. Just saying. So I was putting bronzer on, and I was like really going in with it, and I noticed at the end, like because of Dion's lighting in our room, <laughs> it's so bright. I got the mirror and I like, looked right into it towards like the really bright lighting and it was black dots kind of like it picked up on a lot of like acne scarring so I had a lot of bumps and lumps and a wee bit of like scabbiness in my skin because obviously I've tried to dry out all the yeah. spots and that but when I put a lot of bronzer on that it really like showed it really bad so I was I felt really bad about myself but I don't know, I feel like it's really just the products I use, like, yeah. and your my type skin, of skin. When I have spots and like, I see my, my skin goes, when I go away, I know I'm like, <laughs> bearded out. When, my, when I do that, my skin, like, um, if it's oily, mm -hmm. then it will, it will like, like the, the way it hits the light, it will show it. So I feel like mm -hmm. my skin, mine, mine sound is a bit better for me. So back to the question, do you think it does make it look worse? Yes and no? Yeah, I think Yeah, I think it can as well. I'm mixing L'Oreal True Match in with the Fenty Foundation only because the Fenty Foundation on its own on me, I'm going to fix my brush <laughs> um, it's just a bit, I don't know, the colour obviously, I went too dark with the colour and you think like obviously that can happen because how dark I am. The bottles are a bit deceiving because the bottle's frosted, you can't really see the the, the, uh, the true colour, yeah. yeah. So I'm going to mix that in, and I feel like it lasts longer when I mix it in with a different kind of foundation because it's easier and blends better. Yeah. It's so weird to think of foundation because it's watery, it's really runny when you put it out, but then it's really full coverage. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's I like really full coverage. It's good, it's a good mm -hmm. look, you're welcome. Yeah, Halloween. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, this is um, Chloe McLachlan. She has said, question, I'm, tar um, I'm currently studying makeup art during myself. Do you have any tips that you give people that are learning? I'd, I'd say that um, college is a... The is type of makeup you want to learn, that's a good point for that as yeah. well, right? Like. College is a good a good place to start and like um, to slowly get you confident because 
you're going to you're going to be in there at college for a good couple of years and you're going to learn different things and you're going to be around other girls that are learning it with you. And college is a great experience. I love college. You can pick up a lot of things from a lot of different uh, girls that you go to college with. Um, yeah, like guys. we all learn from each other as well. Like me and that went to the same college. Um, shout out to Coat Bridge. <laughs> we're um, at different times. We had different times. She was in the year above me. Um, but I like... I met a lot of people through that, obviously I met Bernard if you're working, but I met a lot of my friends, like really, really good friends through college and I do feel like I learned a lot but in certain aspects in the industry, I do feel like um, the type of makeup, like the makeup we're doing ourselves right now and the makeup that a lot of people want to learn right now, what's in trend, that doesn't really get taught at college because it is just a trend now, it will go out a trend, like a lot of colleges, a lot of like bridal makeup that will always be bridal makeup, obviously yeah like things are changing right now but yeah um, i would say that um tips for people that are learning um just get yourself out there and go see as many styles as you can and get as many different lessons of many different people and learn all the all different tricks and tips. practice like just take time and practice a lot like on yourself on your friends like on your mum or on your sister or your brothers or whatever just practice as much as you can uh -huh. um, and take criticism criticism well because it's like and subscribe to our channel. <laughs> you need to take criticism like quite well because oh, yeah. like you're going to in, in this industry you're going to be at people that don't like the makeup that you've done on them. Like we know we're going to get criticised in this video. No matter what we do, no matter if the makeup's amazing. Yeah, but like, more than likely it's social like, media. I'm doing my makeup the way that I like my makeup. So yeah, it's really opinions. People have opinions, and like I might look pure weird halfway through it, but at the end I'm, I might like it. Okay, so tips: just get out there and just get practicing. And. Uh, for social media as well, I would say follow a lot of obviously like people that are like mm -hmm. doing good and like make YouTubers and that as well. I learn a lot of my makeup like skills and just things that I do through YouTubers. It was all through YouTube, like and obviously some parts are from college, right. but YouTube's really good for that. So I would say just keep picking up tricks with different people and like when I says go to master classes and find out different things as well. Okay, so the next one is from Erin Kearney and she wants to know what's your preferred brand of makeup. Well, Ooh, that's a good question. It depends, like, what it's for. If it's for foundation or if it's for like face product wise. Yeah, My preferred I don't have one set. Yeah, I don't have one set. I have one set for each different thing in makeup. Yeah, like if it's for me, like I mix loads of different foundations together, and I even do it with my clients. But like, I feel like I always dip into skin base. Really? Yeah, I always dip into. That's skin one thing base. I don't use. The skin base. I. I always dip into skin base. Um, I use a mature client, so like. Um, because it's, it does have coverage and you can build it so it's thin or it's like because of medium yeah. coverage you can build it up to be thicker you can build it like just leave it thin or something like that but that would I'd say I would go back to skin base for a foundation for setting products what would you say is your favourite like, to set with it? Right now I'm really like the Kat Von D powder yeah. the translucent powder I really like that I like oh, a lot of loose so powders for my own face to set my own face but on clients and like other people in general, I use a lot of compact powders. Yeah. So for clients, MAC is probably my number one brand. And I think that's the same with a lot of makeup artists. MAC's always going to be one of the number one brands. Yeah, like anyway. so I'd say I'd, I'd, I'd use MAC bronzers and lipsticks. And that's got um, a huge part of your kit. So a huge part of your kit's yeah. MAC. MAC and a Lamasca yeah, are really a huge part of your kit. I would say Morphe for palettes, so Morphe, I, yeah, I, I love Morphe. If you're a makeup artist starting out, then go to like go online and get Morphe. They're they're not that dear. They're really affordable. And we're going to be using a Morphe palette actually. Yeah, yeah, exactly. the Jacqueline Hill one. Yeah, um, I'd say that that was a uh, Morphe and Mac um, are two top. Favorite so that's brands of makeup that we yeah. like. Makeup brushes, Oliva. Yeah, yeah. I feel like I always always get to Oliva, and because they do the. The packs, like they don't do sell brushes by hand, like you they can do get a kit and, and you get like, a full um, kit of brushes. If you lose a certain brush you can always go buy that single one as well. This is something as well, I always do my base first, like people ask me that all the time, like do you do your own eyes first, do you do your eyes like you do clients, blah blah blah. I'm seeing on my own, myself, my own face, I'm totally different to do makeup than I'm around clients. Yeah. Totally different. Yeah, Layla. Yeah, Enya from Ireland. From Ireland, hi. Enya. Right, well she asked what's your favourite uh, look for a night out? Well our, ours is like dark smoky, <laughs> dark smoky bronze. And if we're feeling adventurous, a little bit of gold. <laughs> yeah, if we feel adventurous, a little bit of that. It's from Chloe McGrath again. What made you fall in love with doing makeup? 
people, then I'd say, obviously, like, girls love to wear makeup. Like, well, most girls yeah. love to wear makeup. Yeah. So, if you are good at what you love, then why not do it? So, I like, guess. But what made me fall in love with it is what made me fall in love with doing clients' makeup is when they're so appreciative of what you've done and they just like, like yeah. thank you so much, you made my night, you made me feel so beautiful. And like with mature clients who've never had makeup done before, they're just like, Oh, thank you so much, that made me feel so confident and you they get you there. <laughs> yeah, it's like you people will only with thickness but you get such a good response and it actually makes us feel better so making you feel better makes us feel better pure cringe but cute it is What's the next question? It's from Gemma and it's how, what's the best way to build your clientele? Best way to build a clientele? Oh, that's a good question. <laughs> Practice as many people you can and post. Constant, be constant on social yeah. media. Yeah, Instagram and Facebook. Even Twitter, I don't use Twitter, I don't know how it works, so I don't know if that works for it, but... Yeah, so I don't, I don't Twitter's quite a big thing, so probably does work on Twitter. <laughs> Right, the next question is from, oh, I don't know when I ask that, maddie.93kiss, how do you stop makeup going grey around the mouth, even after colour correct and all that business? I'm still struggling with it, medium skin tone. Um, if you've got grey, it's like, what well, depends what colour you're using to cover correct. Yeah. You could be using the wrong colour, like, don't, don't use green. Don't use green. No, on, like, if it's like you, you're darker there, then don't use green because that's for redness. What would you use? I'd use a no, you use orange. Right? You need to brighten it. So to brighten, you use orange? You use orange. Obviously, she's medium, so she can use orange. Um, and if you're obviously my colour, then you'd use like a, a lot yellow more tone to bring something that up. Because you want to get rid of the dullness. So you want to bring a bright colour underneath it to, if the rest of your face is bright, you want to make sure you even it up. Chloe Shanna MUA. She asks, what's good foundations for people with oily skin? That's a good question because I've got oily skin so I can answer that. Um, just always to find a good foundation that works with oily skin. I've been, like I said, I've been mixing a lot of foundations so if I know a certain foundation that I'm used to and I really like but it's not good for my skin because I'm oily, I'll mix it with a foundation that is made for oily skin so that I'm still getting that good look. Mm -hmm. But it's working with my skin like over a period of time. Yeah. Um, Max Studio Fix is like good really if your skin into it. Like, so it's, it's, Max Studio Fix kind of works with oil skin, dry skin, whatever type of skin. It's the way you set it right. that kind of like helps you know what I mean. Um, what's that again? Oil, oil skin. So Kat Von D, brilliant for coverage. It's good for oil skin but set it, you need to set it. Um, good drugstore foundation for oil skin, True Match. The new formula is amazing, mm -hmm. like I usually hate too much, but the new formula is amazing for all types of skin, but for oily it's really good. Obviously again, set it. Um, the best for if you've got really oily skin, like really oily skin, and you like like a really full coverage foundation, Estee Lauder Double Wear, all the way. And they're being fat. If you've got really oily skin, but? Uh, not really oily skin, but I do get oil, really oily in my T-zones. It's very, I learned this in college, Estee Lauder is very, um, it's talc, too, there's a lot of I, talc yeah, in it. I, I think it's too heavy though. Yeah, it is really heavy, but heavy. that's one foundation I used to always use. If you really like a foundation and you love the way it sits in your skin and you're too oily, then just make sure you mattify yourself down like with a lot of powder. Yeah. Um, and you can still, you're still able to wear that. Because um, it's a bit different, like when you've got oily skin, you can get away with a lot more foundations. Than, that, than you do with dry skin. Yeah, that's true. What um, What's your tips to get a long lasting full face of makeup without any creases or smile lines? Love heart kiss. Um, what way would you do it? Set it straight away. With, like, to stop you getting creasing? Yeah. To stop your concealer from creasing. Um, don't smile. <laughs> While you're doing your makeup, the best thing is to, like, to keep a serious face. Like I know you see so many girls pull so many faces, but that's because like, you need to. Like, but now people like that when they're sitting under their eyes, <coughs> that's gonna look really yeah. funny. <laughs> um, 
that's because obviously they're trying to pull the skin down and get inside, inside the creases and the lines. I don't think it's something that can actually be stopped without getting Botox, like obviously because you're going to put a lot of concealer, mm -hmm. if it's going to go in the lines like powder, that's going to eventually over time melt into the lines in your face, so it's going to show no matter what, but it is really just about setting it, set it straight away, don't leave your concealer on your foundation to sit for ages, set it straight away. Next question is from McKeith, Jenny, how to apply eyeliner? Application tips and the easiest products for beginners. At 36 I still can't apply it. <laughs> Depends what you wear. You like your eyeliner, but if you're doing a wing liner, mm -hmm. then I use um, liquid. I used to use a uh, gel, and I like gel, but I feel like you have to drag the product a lot. And it's a lot of more work yeah, with gel. Yeah, but I feel like uh, liquid is just, you slide it and glide it and it goes. Yeah, slide and glide. Slide and glide. Slide and glide. So slide and glide. The, the liner that I use is, can't find it there, but it's Maybelline's. Maybelline's, and it's the matte one. Um, and it's like Master Ink. It's about that big, and it's like, thick at the bottom, goes to like, thin at the top, and I'd recommend that. Um, for doing eyeliner, like, look down to your mind like this. Yeah. So you don't need to shut your eyes because if you're shutting your eyes, then your eyes are going to go like creasy. Mm -hmm. So look down and just hold it. Because obviously, it. not a lot of people, I know some people that can do which I find really cool. <laughs> you can't close your eyes and do your eyeliner like you could do in a client when yeah. you're doing your own. Um, so looking down is your best natural mm -hmm. look like you're going to get. like the way your eye you're naturally sits. If you're doing anything to your eyes and you want to keep your eyes open, the best is hold, hold your, your mirror and look down. Mm -hmm. like you're going to see that you're full with. Which is basically what you're doing in this full video. We'll try yeah. to like keep the mirrors down. How did you both go about getting into makeup? And what's good thing about the industry and what's bad thing about the industry? Wait, um, how did you get that's into makeup? That's from Amber Lettingham, I think that is. Mm -hmm. How did you get into makeup? How did I get into makeup? At school, my friend was always amazing at her hair. She had amazing long blonde hair and she always did it really nice, like always had different styles and that. And I feel like I was the one that always, my hair was a riot as well, I was on the makeup. <laughs> so, um, excuse me. <laughs> um, makeup wise, how I got into it and how I started loving it. I don't know really, because like, I've been doing makeup like since I was 13. I, I think I just liked how. I can make myself look tanned in makeup and like we answered earlier about how you can do different looks and like change your face completely. But it was YouTube really. I started watching YouTube about 14 maybe, 14, 15. And I started wa like watching all these different people do different types of makeup. And it made me start to get in it and I started getting really, I started really starting to love it. Like, and I love the comments I got from people. People mm -hmm. would always go, oh I like the colour of eyeshadow you want today. Or, like what foundation is that? Your skin looks great. Just things like that. That's another thing as well. Yeah. I found foundation and I fell in love with makeup because foundation can cover my skin. I had my skin went really good for a while after I turned thirteen. Like my year, the full year of when I was thirteen, my skin was horrible, absolutely horrendous. Um, so makeup helped a lot with that. But yeah, I don't know. I've just I kind of just felt like I've always loved makeup, and I'm a girl, so I feel like a lot of girls and, yeah. and boys like. You just, that's just something you love, like, if, it's just an actual asked, thing. If you asked me when I was 13, you would be a makeup artist, I'd be like, no. Same. I'd be like, no. I'd be like, what's that? <laughs> I'm here, what, what, what's makeup again? Oh. But I didn't know what makeup is. I was a big fan of makeup, didn't do it as much. You know. <laughs> but you get the makeup done. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't a big fan of it at first. Um, but I'd done beauty at college, and then you did a tiny bit of makeup in it. And I always enjoyed it and I, I got told I was alright at it so I was like, you know, I'm going to do makeup next year so I've done makeup and I've done another year of makeup and then I stopped for a year um, and then I got my first makeup job and like it just continued Went on there. Yeah. Like makeup, the industry's totally blew up, like yeah. I can't believe how well known makeup's got now, like there's, if there's any like 14 year olds that been watching this, like when we were your age that was not a thing. Like getting your makeup done to go out the weekend to go out the weekend wasn't a thing. It was like playing in puppy in the street or something. Like <laughs> no, like um, makeup's really, really came a long way. I think like yeah, and it's definitely. always like you see loads of new trends like Instagram. Like Instagram, really, I think that is Instagram that's really made it a big thing. But I just, I just feel like nowadays 
if you've been a makeup artist for years, you're like, it's quite a shock to see how far the industries came. Like, when I first started doing makeup, I first started doing it in clients, it was always for events like weddings or the parties, or a lot of my first clients was actually weddings, so you can imagine the pressure. But no, um, it just came natural. I think it's yeah. just a natural thing. Uh, good thing. Um, back to the start when we were saying about um, the appreciation and like the confidence that girls get from it, and like they appreciate you and it makes you just feel so much better. It makes you feel, feel good about yourself. Mm -hmm. Like that's that's my. That's a rewarding my, job. Yeah, that's a rewarding job. Yeah. People say all the time makeup's a bitch industry, like the beauty industry's a bitch industry. It is, it's only people in the industry, but it's the same with other, every other job. Like, yeah, yeah. if there's a bitchy person that right. works in an office, then that's going to be a bitchy office. Like, so I wouldn't say it's the industry's bitchy, I would just say, I think a lot of people get. I don't know. I the bad thing is the neg negativity that comes yeah. out of it. I think that a lot of things can be said, like opinions. Like right now, we're going to see loads of comments about the colour difference in us. Like we know that, um, and the colour of my tan. I like a dark orangey tan. I don't care. I like it. And how snatched I do my face, like how white it is underneath. That's what I like. But I may like that, but other people might not. So I'll get a lot of negativity out of that. And you need to have a really thick skin because people can be nasty and because of what it is on social media that's one bad thing is because it is so out there on social media there's yeah. going to be nasty people that are going to try and bring you down and make you feel bad about yourself yeah. but I feel like that's a good thing but that's another good thing about the industry as well is that it does go in quick like your yeah. days are work like it's so fun these are all if you all get along like these are talking to you all the time and it's just a really fun atmosphere especially in our town like we all actually are the best of ours so like the conversation you should get out of us is crazy. Is that my bad answer? Do you know what is? My bad answer is you gain bloody weight because all you do is yeah. eat, eat, talk and makeup. Yeah, <laughs> makeup. Eat, talk and makeup. All you do is eat, like literally, not even that. You'll come in and someone will be like, right, I'm going to the shops. What do you want? And you're just, oh, what are we doing? Oh, you're going there? to Greta's? Oh, you're going to Nando's? Uh -huh, like, oh, oh go, go, on, go on then. It doesn't <laughs> help for the fact that we're right fan in Middletown. Yeah, mm -hmm. so we're right across from Nando's. Oh, there you go, if you don't know where the salon is, we're right across from Nando's in the office building's fourth floor. <laughs> this is from Leanne Downey. I think that's how you say your name, Leanne. Um, she says, Caitlin, what is your skincare routine? I saw a post. I saw your post and that your skin is so flawless. Thanks. <laughs> it's not quite flawless yet. I'm trying to get there, but it's not really. It, it looks good though. Really? Mm -hmm. Thanks. You're welcome. It's and cleared it's, up a wait, lot. And I, I take credit for it as well. Well, that takes credit for me turning my skin care routine around, like actually starting to care about my skin. Right, so to answer that, um, like I said, I said in my post as well, like obviously, all the tips and that and there about me changing my routine around and actually hydrating a lot more like I feel what my problem was was start internal you need to like take care of your body from the inside for it to look good on the outside that sounds really like, cringy but it's true like it's so true yeah drink a lot of water I've stopped drinking so much fizzy juice not yeah, I scratch, scratch fizzy juice out. Obviously, you can still drink it, that, but just make sure that you're not drinking it like, like you do water. Yeah, exactly, because it's going to eventually affect your skin because there is there's so much bad things in it. Um, most people, most people drink water, uh, drink fizzy juice like crazy and they have amazing skin. Just me yeah. personally, I cut it out and my skin went a hell of a lot better. Right, so that's one of the big things that changed my skin. Um, I'd also say don't wear makeup as much. Just don't think that you need to slap a bit of makeup on every single day. 100%. Like, and if your skin is bad and you're like, oh, I need to put makeup on my skin so bad, you don't actually like let it clear up. Nobody's gonna judge you for having a spot face. Mm. Yeah. Spot, like, even like what I said in that post, I was so paranoid about posting that. I was, but I just felt like I had to, and like obviously like that question that now um, that Leanne just asked. A lot of people have messaged me the same thing, asking me as well. My skincare routine to a tea now is, I went for a facial and I got loads of good products. I don't think it, it does matter on the products, but you don't need to go buy the most expensive products to get really good skin. It's just what works for you, obviously. So trial and error. Um, Try as much as you want if you really like your skin. Just cleanse, tone and moisturise. Just always remember to take your makeup off. Aye, it don't ever fall asleep with your makeup on, ever. Don't, just don't do that. Like that is like the worst thing. Don't. Just don't do it. Okay. 
cannot, you can't. Where's my cap? So I use the Anastasia Pepper House and so does them, but I am using Freedom. 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 <laughs> What's your favorite eyeshadow to use? Or eyeshadow palette to use? Morphe. Yeah. The Morphe 35. What's more? What? Zero M. What? That one. We've discovered something new. Pimark. Pimark. Mm -hmm. I'm going to use my black shadow with Pimark to show you how good they are. Sexy hair, nice eyeshadow, and it's a dream. Fave highlighter. My favorite highlighter. <laughs> I'm using these two shades, so it's the setting draw down and the setting two shadows in. I'm using them for a transition colour. Mm -hmm. So kind of like a bit colour. I'm just going to use the select cover up in NW28 just to put a wee base back in my because it's dried out. Just so the pigment on my lids can stick better. I'm using the blue, that really bright blue eyeshadow from the Jackson palette. That's so blue. But I'll suit this. Oh my god, that's so blue. I'm gonna put it on my deep, deep brown. 